everybody, it's Professor Williams, and we're going to look at the Poisson distribution on Minitab when we have to solve for the probability that x is greater than or equal to some value. Twinkle Toes, Inc. manufactures and sells strings of LED Christmas lights. Their quality department has determined that, on average, for every 50 feet of lights they produce, six of the LED bulbs will be faulty. In other words, they won't light up. They've also determined that these failures follow a Poisson distribution. What is the probability that a 50-foot strand of lights is randomly selected and eight or more bulbs are found to be faulty? This is the probability that x is greater than or equal to eight. We're going to use the cumulative probability density function with our mean, or lambda, equal to six and our input constant is going to be equal to seven. So before we get started, let's think about what we're solving for. So we said, what's the probability that eight or more? So that's greater than or equal to eight. Eight or more are gonna be faulty. So we'll go back to our line where we have between zero and an infinite number of successes, and here we have eight. So we want eight or more. So the fact that we have this equal to sign here means we want to include eight in our probability. Well, we know that the cumulative distribution function only solves down to zero, so what we don't want is from zero to seven. So this is the probability that we'll solve for we know that the probability between zero and seven and eight and infinity is equal to one. So we're going to let Minitab solve for this one. We're gonna subtract it from one and that's gonna give us what we want. So I'm coming up to calc. I'm gonna to go to my probability distributions and I want this cumulative function. I'm gonna enter a single value and that value is gonna be seven and I want a Poisson distribution, grab that. Our mean was six and we hit okay. This tells me that the probability that seven or fewer are defective is 0.74398. So now I have the probability of what I don't want because this represents the probability from zero up to seven. What I do want is from eight up to kind of this infinity. So I'm gonna take one minus the probability of what I don't want, four, three, nine, eight, zero. And that's gonna give me a probability of 0 0.25602. And this represents the probability of eight or more because this was the probability from zero to seven. So this is what we wanted. Just remember, anytime we're solving for greater than or greater than and equal to, we're gonna have to find the probability of what we don't want, subtract it from one to get what we do want. As always, I hope that you found this information useful and thanks so much for watching.